Hi, this is Dave with DRH Acrylic Creations. Today we're going to be working on a piece I called Fragmented Light. Uh, we're putting down the pillow paint. Today's pillow paint is Sherwood Williams Color to Go in tri uh, Tricorn Black. Uh, my normal pillow paint is wonderful, but I, when I'm needing something black, I think this is becoming my go-to. The paints I'm going to be using today are all fluorescent pigments from TLP. And they're listed here. The cell activators are Iridescent Gold by Amsterdam and Titanium White by Amsterdam. I have three videos listed above that will show you how I put everything together. So I'd invite you to check those out. What I'm doing here is I'm going to spread this out just a little bit, and, uh, playing in the paint. Uh, that's a technique called scoop and drag, and you'll see more later. A second swipe here. Maybe a little shorter. You can see the titanium white in that swing. And using the scoop and drag to shape the swipes on this. And pull some of it out, push some of it in. Just manipulate the paint, enhance what's there, uh, change anything that. I think needs more interest. Just stretching this up just a little bit. Start to get an idea of what my cells are going to do. I am debating at the moment whether or not I need to start doing more face on my uh, on my my videos. Uh, I, and I'd like you to chime in. If you uh, would just leave a message down, uh, a comment down in the below if you think you'd like to see me do uh, some face intros, uh, let me know. I'd really appreciate that. Like your input. If you have any questions, comments, or just want to say hi, I invite you to leave that down in the comments section below. Also, if you've missed anything today in going through the uh, what I'm using, you can find that all in the description section. You can also find a 15% off discount code for the Sheely uh, art course, which I took back in October it's been coming up on two years now. Uh, it opened my eyes to a whole lot of things. It was enjoyable, yeah, well put together, and I'd encourage anybody who's even slightly interested to check it out. That code gets you 15% off the price of the course. Okay, we started to spin out just a little bit and see if I can get the, the paint to flow a little bit better and also to open up those cells. Now the reasons why I spin as much as I do is not only for the cells, but also to get some of the paint off the canvas. Uh, if you have too much paint on the canvas at the end of the day, then you risk the chance of uh, crazing or cracking. So it's, uh, it's important that you get as much paint off you can as you can. I'm currently getting getting used to a new area, and I've had several paintings recently that have dried uh, differently than I expected. So uh, it's all a learning process, and it never ends. So that's one of the the, the beautiful things about trying new things and and uh, exploring uh, new art forms. You have to kind of play it by ear, and that ear depends on where you live. So it's a lesson learned. Really loving the way these cells have come together. Pretty good there. It's about time for the flyover. 
I'm loving the cells and loving the color mixing that I that I achieved there. I don't think I could be much happier about this piece. And it has dried beautifully. If you found this video today useful, I invite you to leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and ring the bell for notifications of videos that I put out. It's my goal to put out at least two per week, and I'm hoping that you're finding them useful. I thank you very much for being here today. Have a great day. Bye now.